Today on Toy Shiz Future Fist Flying Action, let's talk toys. Welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another Retro Shiz look back at the past, and today we're heading all the way back to 1994 for the Playmates Toys Cyber Samurai Turtles. The future has just arrived, behold! The Cyber Samurai Turtles. These high-tech turtles are fully equipped for the future. Spring, fire, and fusion fists fly off for awesome... I can't believe I read that. Battle action. And their shells are doubly protected with high-tech battle armor. Go ahead. Remove their cyberized chest plates and see how tough a turtle can be. Yes! In the future, fists will fly and turtles will rule the Earth. Apparently, in the future, the Ninja Turtles take over the planet. So... Have fun, kids. <laughs> but yeah, we have the action figures, which were interesting for the time. Very much, okay, we've done Star Trek. We've done Universal Monsters. Now we're going to do Robot Turtles. And yeah, I mean, for the most part, it works. But for me, I mean, now, yeah, it's pretty dang cool. Hey, kids, welcome to the future. Now let's kick some foot. Imagine that being on packaging now, like for Marvel Legends or... G.I. Joe classified. Hey, kids! <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's not happening. Anyways, Leonardo, he looks great. Cyber Samurai Leonardo. And one thing I actually really like about each of the packaging, they're all different. So, for instance, Cyber Samurai Mike, you got Michelangelo fighting Shredder. And then let's say on Donatello, you got Cyber Samurai Don fighting the Shredder. So that is very cool. Now, for the purpose of this video, we're only taking a look at the Turtles. Uh, for some reason, I come across the Shredder later and Bebop, which are both characters in this wave, first wave, only wave of Cyber Samurai Turtles. Then, yeah, maybe we'll we'll look at those as well. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot Cyber Samurai cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new for 1994 Playmates Toys Cyber Samurai Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Someone's in the sewer. They don't belong here. Awesome futuristic Cyber Samurai Warriors. Oh no, it's Cyber Samurai Shredder and Cyber Samurai Bebop. What we need now are Cyber Samurai Turtles. Look out, fists are flying. Oh no, it's Cyber Samurai Rap. It's our turn to throw a few punches. Dirty team. What an awesome breakthrough. Hey, after meeting the Cyber Samurai Turtles, these guys are just futuristic scrap metal. So we'll start it off with Cyber Samurai Mike, right? They got to shorten the names. It's the future. I mean, they knew. They were well ahead of the times, right? Everything is shortened now. So I'll give you the deets on old Cyber Samurai Mike. Each of the turtles comes with a weapon and then a Cyber Samurai bullet thing as well. Now, I don't have the nunchucks for Michelangelo, I know, but you do get a look at some really cool sculpt work on these things. Very, very cool, very detailed, a lot of paint on these for a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. You got wires for days, you got a shell in the back, you got thruster jets. I love the wires, I think those are pretty cool. And just the back of the legs, the feet, I just love that. That is so cool for a Ninja Turtle future, whatever you want to call this thing. But yeah, articulation, minimal, arms, legs, and you do have some head rotation. I'll show you that in just a second. But I love the gold-plated armor. Now, this is that weapon I was talking to you about. Each of the turtles comes with this same weapon. You'd think he could hold it, but no. I'll show you exactly what that does in just a second. The main feature right here is that he has little levers right you pull those levers and he will fire his cyber samurai fist so let's go ahead let's uh, let's put some mousers up here right? a couple of them launch some fists get them all lined up one two three and boom yeah they, oh, there we go it actually took out two and then let's get the last guy right here no <laughs> every time i have toys that fire stuff so let's show you this realistically the turtles fists are here they're just sculpted right that's where you put the gloves so they're not actually firing their fists they're firing the robot fists but then you have this extra weapon right which fits right into there and this is the second weapon so yeah if you had some leftover mousers and you want to fire and take them out you definitely can. How awesome is that? Anyways, Cyber Samurai Mike, very cool. Also, you can take off the faceplate. So I thought that was neat as well. Really nice chrome on these guys. 
Michelangelo looks good, except he's got they all got the holes in the chest, and you do get some head swivel articulation. But yeah, very, very cool to have. Next up is Leonardo. And again, as as you'll see, he comes with the same black weapon as they all do. I actually have his sword, which is nice. Also, just keep in mind, in some cases, some of the turtles, as they were released, maybe as they kept going, there were some running changes where you'll get some different colored weapons. You get the same exact weapon, same one, as Michelangelo, and you can use any of these for any of the turtles, just FYI, except for the fists. The fists only go to each particular turtle, but Leonardo is, again, very cool. Love the chrome paint on him. He is a little bit... I would say out of all the turtles, as you'll see, a little bit lackluster, right? He's just kind of black and blue with some silver. Not a whole heck of a lot going on. Not as much as, say, Michelangelo or the other turtles, but he is okay. He's still, I mean, he's still a cool figure, but he's just, he's kind of like, oh, man, I wish Leonardo had some more going on, but he holds his cyber katana. <laughs> Again, I wish each of them only come with one weapon, except for Donnie, obviously. He's got the bow staff. But yeah, they only ever came with one Psy, one Nunchuck, and one Katana. But let's go ahead, let's set up Chrome Dome, Cyber Chrome Dome, right? Uh, and uh, yeah, just position his fist right there. I'm going to shoot the fist with the weapon first, and... <laughs> that didn't work. Let's try the other one. Boom, there you go. Yeah, you can take old Chrome Dome there. You know, sometimes these old spring launchers, they don't work so well anymore. But again, like Michelangelo, you can take off the front face plate. Again, I don't really care for the giant hole right there in the chest. You get some head articulation. Leonardo's looking all like mad that you took the face plate off, but again, very cool. Donatello is up next, much like Michelangelo. Apologies all around. I don't have his bow staff either. If anybody watches this and they have the nunchucks or the bow staff, let me know. Shoot me an email, toyshes at gmail.com. But much like the other ones, yep, you get the same exact weapon. Really cool looking. And Donatello, he's got a lot going on on this. I think it's a little bit over-designed. He's still cool, but man, he's he's got a lot. He's got these purple things, a little green hanging thing and horns and gold, purple, green. The shell right here on the back, jet thrusters. He's interesting. Lots of detail, lots of paint on this guy, but not too much going on, I think. But yeah, you can pull the face plate off if you'd like as well. You got Donatello underneath. Again, nice paint. Really cool. I'm glad it hasn't chipped over the years. And now let's get Baxter Stockman this time, right? Good old Baxter Stockman. And we'll shoot some flying fists out, see if we can take him down. This is the fun of all. <laughs> the suits had a malfunction. Donnie, come on. There you go. That's at least the other one got him. But again, yeah, like I said, if you pick these up now or later, just make sure the fists actually work. And last but not least, actually, it's my favorite. We have Raphael. And out of all the suits, Mikey is my second favorite. But Raphael definitely takes the cake on this. Well designed, nicely colored. It's very, very cool to see. He comes with his Cyber Psy, right? Only one of them. And again, like Leonardo, there are different colors of the Psy, depending on when you really pick these up in the store. Same exact, as you can see, all four right there. And Raphael, it's kind of interesting. They put him in blue and red. Blue obviously being the leadership with Leonardo, but it works with Raphael. So in a way, it kind of looks like, you know, hey, I'll put some red in there. But I want to be more like I'm the leader of this. And in this suit, he really does look like the leader. He's very cool. He's got the cool tubes and wires every which way. He's got these giant blaster hydraulics in the back. All the different sculpted detail. Obviously, you can fire the fists. You can pull the face plate off. And I think he just looks and fares the best out of all four. But again, giant, huge square missing on his chest. But yeah, with these flying fists action, you can go ahead and put his cyber psi right in there. Again, just be careful. Some of the springs of time have gotten loose. And we'll put Krang here and see if we can take him. Let's try and get some of the hands first. See if we can knock those off. Not even close. <laughs> there we go. No, not. It's, yeah, it's Krang will just do it the old-fashioned way. As I do these videos when you have flying projectiles if you're interested in seeing like the scale yeah they'll dwarf the original ninja turtle playmates figures but again 
it's kind of like you're putting the turtle in a cyber samurai suit. So in that sense, with the flying fists being that her hands are still there, it works in terms of the scale. So that is cool to see. If you didn't know this, in the actual Red Skies version of the Ninja Turtles, as the show kept going in the later seasons, the Cyber Turtles, Cyber Samurai Turtles, did actually show up. These were more as they had to fight some aliens, they got some suits that they would wear, and the suits would then grow to, like, building-sized suits, with them doing, like, the Pacific Rim sort of deal. It didn't really make a whole lot of sense, and the episode is very terrible. <laughs> But you can actually use, like, let's say, Super Impulse's world's smallest turtles if you wanted to go that route. And yeah, technically, you could have them to wear little tiny turtle, giant, massive, building, wrecking turtle suit. Seriously, watch that. And you'll have a lot more questions than answers by the end of that episode. However, if you are interested, you can actually put these turtles up against, let's say, a NECA Toys Godzilla. I think that's actually pretty cool. So in that sense, yeah, they really capitalized back then on the robots of those days. But for me personally, despite the toys, despite the appearance in the cartoon show, the Archie TMNT series was really my introduction to these figures. Now, I do remember them on store shelves, but it wasn't until I saw them in my comic book that I was like, oh, and that's what they used to do back in the day. A bold new direction, they'd say. And they actually used the designs from the toys. They sold me on it a heck of a lot better than the cartoon series did. And they had a five-issue miniseries of these are the turtles of the future. And if you read the Archie series, you'll get a better hang on it. Highly recommend it. But dang, it was awesome. And it fit. And it worked well with the toys. Now, they didn't make an Armagon, of course. But again, that's where those super impulse turtles come in with the old Hero Clicks Armagon. But yeah. Definitely check out the Archie series, all of it. Now, these were the later issues towards the end of the actual run, but it really made the Cyber Samurai Turtles stand out that much more to me. These are a home run through and through. While I might say that, yeah, Leonardo's suit, Donatello's suit, yada yada, they are very cool to have. And one day, yeah, I'll pick up Michelangelo's weapon and Donatello's weapon, maybe get some Shredder and some Bebop action, but... These were very cool to see for back in the day. Now, there was a giant-sized robotic turtle, but it was never actually produced. However, some people out there did actually create them from designs that they saw and make their own versions. So that's actually pretty cool. I highly recommend these. If you've never picked them up, if you've never seen them, well, then you're in for a treat. They're definitely very cool Ninja Turtle figures, and I think you're going to have a great time. Very unique, very different but very much in the vein of Ninja Turtles somehow, some way. But I'm curious to know what you guys think. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Playmates, Toys, TMNT. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, in this comic book I'm talking about, Raphael shoots a guy. This little panel right here of the Cyber Samurai Archie comics doesn't get you going. It's Raphael shooting a Verminator X with a bunch of brains. It's very cool. Just check out the series. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.